I'm getting a little bit of a flashback to my classroom of the elite days when I would give, you know, we'd be giving a test and all these different rules and my monkey brain is like, uh, what's going on? It actually wasn't too complicated. And at the end of the day, everything just devolves into a 1v1 fight anyways. And what's going on right now, Bomb versus Love. Bro has a personal grudge against the members of Fug due to family being killed, I think. I, I'm not sure if they actually said that. Maybe it was already hinted. Maybe I forgot about it. We're in the middle of a duel. It's like this baseball theme one. And he can interfere and interact. Remember, Love is... Love scored, I think, 13 million. And we scored 130,000. You can already see the difference in power according to the Shinsu radar. But we're a Fug Slayer. We're a Slayer candidate. Sorry, another, can another person was Karaka that was mentioned. But I feel like Bomb should be able to win somehow. But if he does, then he doesn't take any of the members that we've met and because we've already implemented so much time into getting to know you know ak raptor or you know wang nan and the other girls does it make sense that bam will travel alone up the tower no i think that this will be his new temporary friend group anyways let's see today's reaction bro episode just started and it looks like he already lost <laughs> You blame the guy that actually killed your parents. Bomb didn't do shit. He's getting manipulated by Fug, actually. He probably doesn't want to be a slayer. Why? Because, like, it's the only way that we can progress upwards and get some closure. Because, you know, Rachel. Yeah. Yeah, for revenge? Ah, he's still simping, isn't he? He's still fucking simping. I feel like you're mocking yourself. Yep. Footprints. Are these the dudes that showed up with the white hair last episode? Remember Prince's big bodyguard? He was killed, and then two mysterious figures showed up. Apparently, those two figures were already at the beginning of the test when we were measuring the Shinsu power stuff. You're so dumb. You're so fucking dumb. Is it, did, did this door really not have... It doesn't. I thought that it might have, like, a hole, like, a window you can fucking look into and see what's outside. Like, you're, this girl, man. This, this girl is actually a walking all so far. She's just a narcissistic beauty. That low-key is just humiliating herself at every moment in turn. I don't know. I feel like she's overhyped so far. Do you guys actually like her? Like, she's just hot. But other than that, what part of her has enticed you beyond the beauty? I feel like y'all are just horny. <laughs> Host? <laughs> Host? She getting eat? Parasite? What? Something's going within her? <laughs> and we're back with Prince. <laughs> what? Whoa, 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 whoa! What? Wait, 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 wait! I'm like, wait, he's moving. He fucking mo he he faked his. How? Who planned this shit? Who planned this shit right now? Cause he hit it. We said that. He's dead. That means the other two that just was with the Yun family, they're, they're all in on it together. Yeah, apparently. They faked his dead. Kim Lurker. Is he the dude with the shaved head and the flower on his head? The taller dude. Was that the guy we're talking about? Kim Lurker? Yeah. Yeah. Wang Nan! <laughs> we used her. Because, like, I think that we pretty much, like, you know, got her. She was being all creepy to me saying last episode. And then we got her, used her to open the door. Wang Nan throws a Pokebomb in there. Easy. <laughs> So he's a bit of a big brain. <laughs> right. And the final room needs to be the young girls room. 608. That's how you need to finish it. Yeah. 
<laughs> Bro, come on. You need to increase the pitch. You're trying to like talk like Nia, like a cute boy, but like you need to increase the pitch of her voice at least. Sama. <laughs> Oh, yo, Nia, you going through puberty? What happened? Your voice is dropping. Nia must have gotten tricked. Nia wouldn't have betrayed us, right? Would, would he have? I'm not sure if he's got manipulated or if this was backstabbing, because he probably wants to still climb at the end of the day. Power of betrayals. I... We still don't know all the details just yet. I would hope that Nia didn't do that. Nia was such a sweet kid, what the fuck? Are you lying, Nia? I can't tell. Who's her? Old woman. That's the restaurant she was, he was working at. <laughs> Jesus, it's that guy again. Okay, well, at least we know more context that this is just like. You know, she got blackmailed to do this. It's not Nia, like, intentionally fucking betraying Wang Nan. It's just like, he kind of has no choice. What are you gonna do about this? Fuck, is she gonna die in like a year if this fucking... <laughs> sorry, sorry. No, 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 this is the tower. Grandma could live a long time, who knows. Fuck, dude, this sucks. This sucks. Like, what are we supposed to do? Get mad at Nia because he wanted to protect the grandma? That, that saved him at the end? Like... It's just money at the end of the day, we don't fucking... I don't know! I know! Let's just kill him! I know an answer! Let, 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 let's just... Let, let, no, 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 not fuck the grandma, let's just kill the debt collector! It's simple! If we just kill the debt collector... And he's already betrayed Prince. I feel like a lot of her <laughs> problems will go away. <laughs> Nia is a walking L. This sucks. She's crying too. <laughs> no, no, we're still gonna climb the tower. We'll figure it out. No, 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 no. 608 is the final such a nice guy. So, oh, Let's just kill him. <laughs> let's, let's just kill him. Like, what was the point? We're fucked if we do, fucked if we don't. Regardless, regardless. Like, nothing would have changed. So, let's just kill him. Lazy brats? You just got used for no reason. <laughs> Nia can't fight though. There's a fucked up part of me that wants Prince to show up and save Nia. Because like Prince got betrayed now by these two. And this is the interesting thing that happens with Prince, right? Because like I hate him. Nepo Kid has a lot of talent. Very promising, actually. But now that he got betrayed by this group, that faction is suddenly splitting. And maybe there is redemption for Prince now because this guy is now the bad guy, you know? No one's saving Nia. Yeah, we gotta kill him. We gotta kill him. Wang Nan, go do something! No! No, you're lying. I don't think he's lying. That's a lot of blood. No. Really? You would kill Neil like that? Oh, shit's getting fucking dark. That's a lot of... It's not confirmed. But like, with the amount of blood, that's fucking crazy? Rusty.
殺してお前がどうやって throw a pokeball at you すでに七人なくボッチャマの部屋も俺たちのものになる damn he big brain this the parasite right it's, it's she's a host now お客様はもう終わりまだだまだ終わってない what can you do I don't know, Wang Nan's going out though. Mm. Then we'll have enough, I think. What a line from Horyang there. Those who have been abandoned by God should seek out the devil. We're gonna side with the devil now? Okay, that's, that's fucking metal. Okay. Last pitch. What happened there? The pitch went out, and I think he stopped it, right? He stopped it with the Shinsu, right? That animation there is basically Zawarado, but basically the Shinsu stopped. And then love went to him with the Shinsu like surfboard, and I think Bomb took it. Yoink, that's mine now? The same thing that happened last episode, but Bomb can see something and copy it immediately, just like Quant's attack. Okay, Cutter. Right, Shinsu? True, true, true. Fog. Game. Or Wang Nan. Yo, the prince! Piore. Oh, he's actually becoming kind of important now. It's, it's funny. Because Wang Nan's talking as if, like, we can't get this back unless we do this deal. I know 100% Bomb could just be like, freeze and just take it back. これ。王子さん、その子ネクターを渡せば試験通過できませんよ。いいから返しなさい。嫌だ。あいつは似合うを殺したんだ。まだたくさんのダチがいました。その時みんなで食べた全てが美味しくて。That's why I hate slice of life moments when character can die in a show. They only serve to fucking act as memories to look back onto and feel bad. Remember the sweet and sour pork, guys? No, we ate it together. <laughs> Why is it getting so emotional? This is sweet and sour pork. Dude, she's just eating it alone. It's like comical how sad this is, but it's kind of sad. Oh man! I just want to eat sweet and sour pork with somebody. Kanto, <laughs> I don't know what a question. Wow! Wang Nan's best scene so far. I mean, so far all I've seen Wang Nan really do is just like. Just like glaze bomb and be all like, oh, I'm so handsome and I can help you out. And sometimes you just lick his shoes and stuff like that. But this moment here is straight up just like main character speech, textbook main character speech. And if this tower is going to fuck you, fucking assholes that are fucking annoying as motorcycles, dude, they're more fucking annoying. Like, oh, I hate motorcyclists so fucking much. But <laughs> if this tower is going to that asshole, <laughs> climb higher. Then I'll destroy it all, even if it means working with the devil. Like, the whole line from Horyang saying, like, if the god abandons you, then work with the devil. That's just so metal. And then the whole moment gets ruined by Viol just saying, no. <laughs> like, imagine. <laughs> like, this is such a good speech. It's like, now, with everything I've said, let's go viol and top this tower over. <laughs> no. The end. <laughs> Prince's room? <laughs> Will he? <laughs> Yo, get your arm off that girl. 
お父様が用意した最強の傭兵それにじ全てが坊ちゃまのものじゃなくてもっていうだけですこのクリーピーアズマーカレーアイカップルエピソードバックイヴンライクビフォーディスエピソードアウォルワンプリンスディダイヒューバッナウンコンフリクティッツウィーダーダーライディングプリンスアズフライキーキンハブリカリデンションアークアサンティングユノー Like, he, he is truly talented too. Is he actually gonna join our fucking group at this rate if we like save him and he like works with us? <laughs> oh, h o r y o n g So he controls her with command words. <laughs> Power! <laughs> I'm not interested in your body, Miss y a n Remember last episode? <laughs> But okay, what was he about to do here? Horyang's thing is like, you know, he has like the feather when he goes fast. No, sorry, sorry, sorry. He has the boots of like haste, like Maple Story passes, like the fast boots when he goes fast. Sometimes it's like a red fist when he wants to be strong. Something here about to change. I'll have to kill them. Now it stopped mid changing. I wonder what he was about to do. Was Horyang about to unleash some like special shit that Bam just stopped here? Doesn't it feel that way? <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? Hey, she gained consciousness too, though. <laughs> One punch! She low key actually was conscious there. She saw v i o l a n was mad. And then the host was still within her. Sorry, she was the host. The parasite was still within her. And she was like, she actually like woke up, bro. <laughs> Your plans are reversing, bro. Kaioken! Oh. That was kind of cool. Not the fucking flashbang, but the remote control. Like, click and then, like, blackout. That's kind of cool transition. Oh. Duck. Baka d o m o g a Yes. What? This is what he was about to show! I thought the bomb versus love would be the highlight of today's episode. Have you seen the devil before? What the fuck? And. Um, 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 remember how I related this character back to a character named Chad or Sato in Bleach? Doesn't Chad also have a similar line in Bleach? When he activates the right arm or the left arm or the devil, did he ever actually say this? Have you ever seen a devil? This is like Bleach back in my fucking high school days. I don't even fucking remember how, like, wh what he exactly said, but holy shit. Shows up inside. Have you ever seen a devil? Oh. Yeah, you were the devil. In his right arm. Ooh. Did Rob Devil say the same thing? Is that why I'm questioning which chat said that? Did Rob Devil say the same shit? Was that literally an Uno reverse card? Why would Rob Devil say that? Have you ever seen a. Maybe he was metaphorically thinking, like, oh, I'm a devil. I mean, his name is literally Rob Devil. Like, the name Devil is in his name. Maybe he was role playing, like, oh, I'm the Devil of the Tower. But the actual Devil is the Devil living in Horyang's arm? I don't know what that really means, but fucking sick. Let's go, Wang Nan. No. Oh! Why would a Devil have mercy? No, they all screened it. I mean, it was simple punches. I would have loved to see, like, super cool animation of the devil punch doing some shit, but all right, off screen. Hi. Sama? Sama? Yo, he changed his tune real fucking quick. <laughs> so cool. Y yes, sir. Right away, sir, the remote. All right, Prince has been corrected. Honestly, smart for a prince. You might think that he's just simping. You might think that he's just glazing. But think about his like, situation now. He doesn't have a group. 
his own mercenaries betrayed him. The best thing he can do right now is show his worth and value and side with Bomb and like Wang Nan and them. He needs to like go down there. And like, can I trust him? I don't know. I still feel a little bit weird about Prince, but this is a very interesting direction they're going with this character. <laughs> can you just walk away? Like that? Oh! I heard a. Water bottle to protect the Shinsu? He has the same Pokeball here. What is that? I thought that was Wang Nan's Pokebomb. Using the water bottle. Does he get another card? Wait! Kind of? What's wrong with that? Prince, what does Prince think about this? Okay. Okay. This is Prince's dad? Interesting design. He just looks like Doc Ock from Spider Man. Aww, the dad cares about him a lot. <laughs> Why not? Basically, we're all playing the fucking game. There is no good or bad. Everyone is just trying to get over each other through this one common goal of climbing the tower. So, like, no need to hate me. I'm just simply playing the game. Don't hate the play or hate the game is what he's saying. <laughs> just climb, dumbass. <laughs> And this is a funny line, not because of how ridiculous it sounds as we witness a character death, which I'm assuming is just a character death, right? With Nia dead. But like, let's see in about 10 episodes or future if he's gonna ever remember Nia. Like, will Wang Nan actually remember Nia in his heart? Because like, you know, this is a character that we're seeing right now and maybe an impactful death in this current arc, but I wonder, like... If this will actually matter in the future as we move on, inevitably you're gonna forget characters, you know? Oh! Yo, this is kinda kinky. Yo, what, what, what you doing there, bro? Yes. Pretty much. He's using this like logic to rationalize and justify all the acts of evil he's doing. Because everyone else is out to get theirs. So fuck them, I'll do me too. But that just creates the most shitty society. There's no order. Everyone is just out to get each other. Do you really want to live in like a society like that? Yeah. Yo, Wang Nan suddenly... Yo, today's episode of Wang Nan is getting so deep. He's even realizing this, like, inevitable loop of revenge and pain, you know? Now you shall all know my pain, but, like, once you inflict pain on others because you were hurt, those same people will come after you. And then the cycle of revenge never stops. This is some Naruto shit, dude. Wow. Really? Huh. He's actually more mad that we're forgiving him because it's just like, what? No, you're flipping the script on me. How dare you act holier than me? No, we're all supposed to be trash. He probably feels this insecurity building up because it's like, wait, I was just being shitty to climb the tower, but you can't suddenly act like you're better than me. You can't forgive me. Climb the tower. Yo, Prince Wangnan. Holy shit. And live a better life. I wonder if Lurka will change now and actually go on a path of atonement. That is a very good characterization of Wang Nan that I didn't understand. So far, I just he was just a goofy ass guy, right? 
who's willing to just like get on his knees and fucking lick the boot that if that meant he was getting ahead but this whole mindset of i have no enemies a cycle of revenge will never stop unless i change the system as a, as a, like the entire thing so i will take all your sins i'll climb to the top of the tower and i'll change everything so that you don't have to suffer anymore <laughs> but yeah it'd be so funny if lurker just like next episode just <laughs> goes you know you know who lurker might be visiting as soon as this test is over the fucking grandma at the restaurant. Hey, Baba! <laughs> Your loan's not paid back here. What are you doing? This is like a divine moment. Wonder what Bomb thinks about Wang Nan. Vio, what do you think about him? I bet that single moment has convinced Vio that Wang Nan is trustworthy, that he's a good person that he wants to maybe climb with. Like, clearly the poster shows those two directly side by side. Almost as close as Blue Turtle and Bomb was in Season 1. So, this should have earned him a lot of respect. Oji Naru. That's so funny, remember? Jawang Nan, if you say it backwards. Nawang Jan, I am Prince. But even the Japanese, and I don't know Japanese, but I know certain words. And if you say Oji Naru, it literally means I am Prince, right? Torasuke is Horian? Okay, wait, 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 wait. You got Nara and Kara for Misen and Gozen, Torasuke for Gang Horian, but AK Raptor is just Ak Raptor? Come on! Come on! Mana, Kana, Torasuke, yeah? Ak Raptor, baby! Ren Rika. Thank you. Yeah, contestant died, love. Oh, the failure, I mean. Never mind. Why are you... Fortunately, the boy is alright and he's gained allies. Is he fucked too? Is you Hansan calling him be like, uh -uh, ring, 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 ring. Hello, 24 admin. Uh, so my boy Bam is about to show up as VL. Take good care of him, okay? Huh. Wait, could not be VL. It could also be referring to Wang Nan. That was kind of obscure. I thought that we were talking about VL because of the test. But, hold the fuck up. It could be not Veal, it could be Wang Nan, man. Fried chicken celebration episode incoming? <laughs> <laughs> yes, with sauce. You can use it on the company card. Yes, with sauce. <laughs> <laughs> so cunning, <laughs> bro. <laughs> so cunning. Who you talking to? Submerged fish is not Guskus. Who submerged fish? Whoa, whoa, whoa. As Fog Wish. What the fuck up? So we're talking with Fog right now. So I wasn't that far off that the person that they might have been talking to. I, I thought it was Veal because Love was talking about Veal and the test, but it could have been Wang Nan. And now he's talking to Fog members. Maybe you, Han Sung, or the other teammates. Jawang Nam Pastor says, as Fug wish. Why does Fug want a potential Prince of Zaha to pass the test? I don't know. Because, I mean, at this rate, with Wang Nan even declaring that he's going to change the tower, it sounds like he's going to overthrow his dad, right? Overthrowing the dad and assassinating the dad is a bit different, but the Slayer probably wants to kill... Dad, I don't know, but Wang Nan is important to the Fug's plan. Okay. Fried chicken. <laughs> yeah, I was like under the impression that a slayer is supposed to king kill the king and they'd have their own king. Maybe the slayer becomes the king, but if a slayer kings the king and kills the king, then, you know, then Wang Nan then replaces the throne. Uh, maybe something like that. Oh, hello. Because he's a good person. Ha, Yu Han Sung's nickname is Submerged Fish? Really? That's some season 1 episode 10 shit. So his code name is Submerged Fish? Oh, okay, okay. 
Yeah, like how everyone is just, you know, trying to climb the tower. What? In order to climb the tower, I might, like, I might lie and kill even more people than he had. Is this, I don't know, hinting that Wang Nan's gonna be a fucking monster in the future? He wants to change the society itself in power. Veal 100% trust Wang Nan and wants to support him now, right? He has to. Like, I think this episode, he definitely won him over way more than when he was, like, licking Veal's feet, man. Oh. Five moons. Don't you dare say you want to see the scars. Alright. No start of a beautiful friendship, I think. Cool. Prince is in too, man. It's not a smile, but this is the closest thing to a smile I think we're gonna get. There's a, there's a, there's a little, little slight angle here. Like, it looks neutral. It's a slight angle. It makes it look like a smile, though. A new future. New friends. Okay, happy ending. Nia died, though. Blue turn! If you just, like, show this screen... Why does he have some titties? Why is hips like that, bro? <laughs> like, if you just, like, don't show the head, just show this only, like, you know? <laughs> hey! What's going on? You know, a guy's name that I can't say, because if I say so, YouTube will think that I say the racial slur that refers to black people, and I have to get it limited ads reviewed, and I have to wait three days to upload this. That is today's episode of Tower of God, and damn. This shit slapped. And I thought that the pop-off that everyone was talking about was going to be Love versus Bomb. But it wasn't really. It was a mixture of Wang Nan and Ho Ryang. Wang Nan has some amazing moments today. And yes, looks like Nia is dead. Rest in peace, kid. Nah, it sucks, but that's it's just a cold game of climbing the tower. You know what you signed up for. The Lurker was turned out to be the biggest antagonist. Betrayed Prince because he's like, fuck it. Why do I have to listen to this Nepo kid the entire time? Actually, pretty realistic. Some things that we saw Bomb do, or Veal do, during the battle is that he was able to copy Cutter. So now, this new technique of Cutter, you know, this baseball-inspired pitch Shinsu attack, Bomb is integrating into his own attack, which is so exciting. You can see how fast he adapts and learns, and we still yet to see the entire repertoire of the Fug Slayer, you know, attacks. I'd like to see more of, like, that, you know, Last Stand, Susano activation. Lurker was a creep as creepy as motherfucker, but there was a very interesting uh, logic that he kind of like shows, and it's that everyone here is a hypocrite because we're all trying to climb a tower, we're all backstabbing, we're all trying to kill each other. That's why you shut the fuck up and climb. It doesn't matter what kind of evil deeds you do. It's all in the name of climbing the tower. And I think that this really represents society as well. It's it's real good commentary breaking the I don't know the fourth wall and just thinking about life. Everybody thinks that, you know, if you're not rich and you're broke ass, it's all your fault and you should, you know, strap yourself by the bootstraps and fucking work harder and just do it. If you live in such an unempathetic society where everything is justified by just saying just climb the tower and you can do all these acts of horror, what kind of society really is that? Wang Nan exists to kind of defeat that idea and impose a new rule in the tower where it's a lot more fair and equal place. Ho Ryang though. Ho Ryang versus Rob Devil. This is probably my favorite scene of the episode. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. I don't know what Horyang is. What kind of race, what kind of being is he? I don't know. Something in the back of his shoulder starts to ignite and like, bro, he's like, oh shit. Have you seen the devil that resides in my right arm? Dude, he gave him the Uno reverse card of what Rob Devil said a couple episodes ago. I forgot about it, but you guys reminded me. He said the exact same shit. It's just like a little Uno reverse. What is what is Horyang? I need to know more about him. I guess he's some sort of devil. At the end here, very interesting um, discussion from the actual, you know, test the admin guy saying, as Fug wishes 
Wang Nan has passed. Wang Nan is an important part in Fug's plan. Not only is there a Kingslayer, now you have a potential person that can replace the throne. An actual person with the rights to replace the throne. He has the lineage. He has the ring. So this is all according to Fug's plan and it's just getting better and better. And that's it from me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.